I tell you what, Steven Spielberg definitely has a wand on set because that man likes producing movie magic. Expecto Patronum! Hello everyone and welcome to IMRT Reviews. IMRT and today we're doing a non-spoiler review of West Side Story, Steven Spielberg's first ever musical. So, let's get straight into it. So, as I said before, West Side Story is directed by Steven Spielberg and starts a relatively unknown cast, with the only notable name being Ansel Elgore, who was in films such as Baby Driver, that was directed by Edgar Wright. So I was very excited to see how this cast does, because I've never really seen any of them before. So is West Side Story a perfect movie? No. Is it a good movie? Yes. So let's get into some of the negatives first. Firstly, the film is just too long. At 2 hours and 33 minutes, you really do feel every single second of that runtime. And that is a lot to do with the pacing of this movie. The pacing of this film is not that good. And there are a few reasons as to why that is. In between songs, the film does slow down quite a bit. And when there's like big dance routines and all this and all that, it's very quick, it's very fast paced. So when it does suddenly hit a halt, you really feel it because you've been on this, you know, steaming train of amazing exciting fun of all these dance sequences and you're like boom halt have some downtime you're like geez this is some really long downtime you really do feel it and there are parts of the film that just shouldn't be in there there's a whole sequence with this song it's uh, to do in like a police station obviously i'm not going to give too much away but it's, a, it's a song in a police station and it just wasn't needed in the film I get that it might be faithful to the original or you know, to the West End show. Doesn't matter. If it doesn't work for the film, they should just take it out because it doesn't progress the film at all. It wasn't needed at all. All it did was slow the film down and add 10 to 15 minutes of runtime that just wasn't needed or they could have used elsewhere. Now I say they could use that time elsewhere because there's parts of the film that do feel rushed, especially the aftermath of the big conflict in this movie as the aftermath just feels like it's just glossed over. We don't get to see the characters' reactions to what's just happened. And they just react unrealistically as well, where they just kind of over things in an instant. And I was like, hmm, that's just a bit weird. This kind of bothers me. And I wish I had just spent a little bit more time with them and seen more of the impact of what has just happened instead of just you know breezing past it like nothing. And it's annoying that we didn't get to see the impact of this because they've done such a good job at setting up this conflict and having the conflict. They really flesh out all the characters of this movie, so we do really care about what is going on and what's happening on the screen. So when it happens, it's emotional, it's impactful. I was like, wow, it's incredibly well done. And then, the, you know, the aftermath is just breeze past, and that was very disappointing. It's kind of like if, so spoilers for Avengers Endgame, if you're one of the only people that haven't seen it, if Tony died in an Endgame, they were like, oh, Tony's dead. Uh, tacos? And they all just left for tacos. That is how I describe the aftermath of what happens in this movie. They leave Tony to get some tacos. Tony's just like, I just saved the universe. Everyone's just left him for tacos. Now, on to the last negative for this movie, and that is the fact there are some messages in this movie that are very on the nose, they're not very subtle at all, and I'm all for the messages in this movie, but when you're putting a message into a movie, make it subtle, make it feel natural, make it feel a part of the movie, don't make it feel like it's forced in, which is what it felt like in this movie, and I sat there, and I rolled my eyes, and that makes the, the message just get lost in the end, because I've sat there rolling my eyes, thinking, why is it done like this? It would be so much better if they do it in a subtle way that makes you think, oh, I get that, I've, I've noticed it, and I appreciate it, and I appreciate they've you know, shared this with me, instead of, here's the message, eat it, eat it, and you're just forcing it down your throat, like, come on, understand the message, and you're like, okay, let me enjoy the movie, because that's how it felt. Probably thinking, Artie, you're being a little bit dramatic, but stuff like this can really derail a movie. I mean, The Last Jedi had a 20 minute sequence for no reason about animal cruelty. It didn't feel natural, it felt incredibly forced, and it ruined the pacing, the pacing of the movie. It just kind of ruined the movie in general, to be honest. And that's what happens when you force a message into a movie without it 
being natural and subtle. So there are my thoughts on messages in movies. Make them subtle and we will appreciate them. And we'll take them home and be like, that's a good message to take home with us. There you go. That's my pep talk. Now on to the positives, and the first one being Steven Spielberg's direction. I mean, cinema magic is an understatement. Some of the transitions between scenes in this movie, chef's kiss, they were outstanding. And the set pieces in this film, incredible. Some of the shots, oh my, I mean like, they're, they're in my brain forever. They were stunning, and... Some of the take, like long takes in this film from all different angles, especially in the dance sequences. Oh, it was incredible. Steven Spielberg, shock, knows how to make a movie. And the lighting in this film, it feels just as important it would be on a Broadway show. It was used unbelievably. It added so much magic to every scene. When you get like the beautiful lighting on someone's eyes, I don't know how to describe it. There's just moments where it's like, damn. Or someone's in a dark setting and they're the only thing you lit up it just adds so much magic and it really was something special to see on the big screen steven spielberg you're a legend all of the songs in this film were performed brilliantly ansel elgore i think that's how you say his name again sorry if it's not he surprised me with his singing voice i was like damn i did not know you could sing and his like version of maria Phenomenal. I was like, okay, that's going to get added to the Spotify playlist later. That was good. And the dance sequences in this film, jeez, that's all i got to say. They are unbelievably well choreographed. There's so much going on, and I, my brain couldn't handle it. I was like, there's, there's so much going on. There's this, I, yeah, like, that is unbelievable. And what he can achieve in this film with the dance sequences is phenomenal. I've, the only thing I've seen like it this year is In the Heights. And lastly, I just want to quickly talk about the costume design team for this movie because they deserve an Oscar nomination 100%. The dresses for like the dance sequences are just so full of color and just added so much to every single dance sequence. They 100% deserve an Oscar nomination. Their attire was incredible. Well done to them. Overall, Steven Spielberg's West Side Story felt like a magical musical piece of cinema pulled straight from the past and put on the screen for us in 2021. And even though it's not a perfect movie, it is a good one. And if you're a fan of musicals like I am, I do highly, che highly recommend checking this one out on the biggest screen possible because it's a Spielberg movie. You need to see it on the biggest screen possible. So... That was my review of West Side Story. Please let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the movie and, you know, if you're going to be checking it out, please let me know. If you did enjoy this content, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.